Welcome to sports everyone. School may be out for the holidays, but teams are still hitting the court to shoot some hoops. The Calvary Day Christmas Classic tipped off this afternoon in Savannah. The four-team tournament features Savannah Country Day, Landmark Christian, Pace Academy, and of course Calvary Day. The Cavaliers boys would be facing Pace today. Well, everybody would be decked out tonight, even bringing a Santa along for the game. We're going to start with the Cavaliers. Calvin Harrison gets to work here. And Look at this shot. He goes up and gets nothing but nets to start things off. Robbie Jenkins then with a big block for the Cavs. Then Kenny Selman with the putback for Pace. Denzel Franklin with a bucket for Pace. And they would have a small lead early in this game, but nice pass here to Kalik Hughes. We'll get the bucket. And then it was a swap party at Calvary. Tyrone Riley with one and Derek Kirkland with one. And that would be one of many. Hughes then with the three doesn't go. Kirkland there for the putback. Later on, Jaden Andrews getting the ball and making the three-pointer. And then he would get the ball again on the corner and land another three. Calvary Day would beat Pace 62-55 to the final. Well, Savannah Country Day taking on Landmark Christian. We're going to start with landmark Zach Allen. They'd start things off with a three-pointer to start the game. Later on, Sean Patterson driving the lane and getting the layup to fall for the Eagles. Robertson trying to get something going for the Hornets. He's going to land this three-pointer, but he will take a step, so he'll be called for traveling. Jake Lee, though, with the bucket getting the Hornets going, but another three by the Eagles, and it would just continue for them. The landmark Christian Eagles, they beat Savannah Country Day 60 to 41, the final. Savannah Christian taking on New Hampstead. Orient Anderson is gonna start things off with a great pass here to Russell Clayton for the first points of the night. Devontae Wright then with an easy bucket for New Hampstead. Then 21 shot doesn't go, but another Raider is gonna be there to tip it back in. JT Mertz then with the fake and buys him some time, makes it for an easy two points. Then a pass out to Adrel Rosa, who's on the corner and drops the three. 21 then with a steal here. Then he's gonna go all the way to the hoop and get the bucket and get the trip to the line. Some more nice passing from New Hampstead. Santana Riley Jr. ends up with the bucket, New Hampstead. They go on to win this one, 56-52, the final. Some ladies games now. It's going to be Savannah Country Day and Landmark Christian. Savannah Country Day with the lead in the second half. The Eagles trying to change that, but not much. Anna Mueller here drawing the foul. She'd have a big day, especially in the second half. Rihanna Carney to Chandler Royal for the bucket. And then Carney this time driving herself, finding some open space, and she'll get the layup. Landry rushing passes out to Mueller and she'll get the two points for the Hornets. Then Mueller again, she would have a great night under the hoop. Here she is getting another bucket. She would lead the Hornets in points and they go on to win 43 to 28 the final. Some other girl scores from tonight. Johnson beating Groves 84-22. New Hampstead beating Savannah Christian 44-41. Effingham County beating Lowndes 49-47.